to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Oh, James, look at you dancing. Look at you dancing. Today's a really good day. It is a great day. Your show is out into the world. Yeah. It is terrorizing. It's probably the best day of my life. The internet. Is it really? Best day I've ever had in my entire life. I can't think of any other things that I've done that are better. Children? Eh. Yeah. Marriage? Eh. Yeah. No, I'm just joking. But new show? It's the fourth. One, two, three. It's the fourth. Most amazing thing of my life. Is it really? I, you know, anyone who knows me or has ever talked to me, I used to be way more annoying about it too. Like, have you heard the podcast? Have you heard the podcast? Let me show you the app. Like, do you like podcasts? You know what the best one is? Oh my gosh, Mark Maron, this new one. That, like, yeah, yeah. I used to be the worst. Yeah. Obsessed. Yeah. I think I annoyed you a lot with it. Like, did you hear this? Yeah. Um, so clearly, if you know me, you know that I am obsessed. And so it's a dream for sure. So. I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, if you it's haven't subscribed, real. Drinking Broettes podcast is now live on all platforms. Subscribe on YouTube. It's on the same channel as this one. We're all under Drinking Bros podcast. The media company is in full swing. Got uh, two ranked shows on the charts now, James. Yeah. Um, look at you. I know. I think we might smash you guys. Like, I don't want to brag. You know, somebody, somebody said that to me earlier in a message. They were like, hey. I hate to say this, but I think by the end of 2020, Drinking Broettes will be the biggest podcast out of the whole Tetherball Media Company. And I wrote back There's and I said, no way. I really fucking hope so. Yeah. Because daddy wants to fucking stay at home. Ladies. Should we cheers with these um, stupid, very on brand nature shots that I got us? Yes. Yeah, so I said, I said, I said this. If you. You guys charted on your first day, and you yeah. know the iTunes charts, the top 100, which you are, and you're rapidly climbing. We're climbing. I keep taking pictures. I know. I think you're Thank at you like 60 or something right now Yeah. Um, in the world. Um, I said we would do a shot of your choice live on air, not thinking it wouldn't be alcohol. You know uh, I can't and take alcohol shots. Dead. What did you get, what did you get here for okay, us Okay, so it's called, a real, it's called a fire elixir juice shot. Oh, so God. We're talking apple cider vinegar, uh-huh. cayenne, ginger, cinnamon, everything that's very spicy and hard to get down. So I thought that would be good. And this and is from Earth Fair. I don't believe I've heard of this so establishment. So Earth Fair is um, poor man's Whole Foods. Okay. Look, I'll always get down on a poor man's Whole Foods. Whole Foods is expensive. Shit. Really expensive. And when the bill was $20, I was like, oh my God. And I got so much stuff. I was like. Where is it? It's by um, Mayfair. Oh, all right. Well, it's a, that's a hike. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, all right. Cool. I'll, I'll pop the top on this thing. We'll cheers it live on air. I have no idea what I'm getting into, by the way. You have to take the whole thing. That's the point I of feel shots. like we're on a, a Hot Ones podcast right now. It's going to be rough. Cheers. Is it really? <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Oh, it's fuck. Mm, mm, oh my god mm, 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 mm. Jeez. Uh, there's so much going on in that yep a lot of different spicy things right yeah but then like You're vinegar mm-hmm. like it's real really vinegar just gonna oof it's gonna get you going oh, oh, it's gonna no. get a lot of things going no 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 as this keeps going down and extending throughout my arms uh, i left some in there i hate leaving, I, f- like... I feel even worse i feel even oh you're worse. gonna feel better you're gonna feel better what's the next one you got here we don't need to take that one. <laughs> Why not? Oh, you want to take both? Okay. Well, I might as well after that. Might as well. Oh, man. I'm on fire. I'm crying. If you're watching the video no, show, there's real are. tears that are. You are. So this one's going to be a little bit. Um, it's going to be grosser, but it's not going to be as um, hot, right? So the turmeric in this is really going to make you want to puke. Ready? Is that, is that, uh, mm-hmm. oh. So beets and turmeric. If you can think of a grosser combo. Oh, my I'm stomach, sure you guys could all think hurts. of a grosser combo. Don't one. don't comment your grosser combo. This combos. looks like rattlesnake blood. Don't get it. Don't get it on anything. It's going to stain forever. Is it really? Mm-hmm. 
Ooh. I taste the like. Dirt. Oh god, that's awful. Look at your teeth. Do you taste the dirt in there too? Yeah, I was gonna say, it just mm -hmm. tastes like dirt. And your teeth are all red. Mine are. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> well, looks like we're doing the rest of the show like that. Fuck, both of those were awful. Mm -hmm. Hey, congratulations on the happiest day of your life. Let's eat actual soil from the earth and then a cayenne pepper on top of it. It's very on brand. For you. Yes, for me. God damn it. That's terrible. I'm taking over the network. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> We're going to have oh, the only thing available in the fridge is dirt shots and ginger. Do you want to try it? it? It's getting better. Do I want to rub my teeth with something? Yeah, I yeah. guess. Is it that bad? Can you see, Jay? Yeah. Still red, right? That's You're better. Right. That's better. Ugh. I, Good. Look, the audience is watching on on YouTube. Who cares? But oh, they're so entertained right now. God damn it! That's gross, Jesse. Fucking pick better dreams. <laughs> I feel good. Yeah. Woo! Ugh. Yes. Yeesh. Do ginger, as you know. I just love it. I. I Even if it yeah, does man. nothing, the spiciness of it sure wakes you up. Even if there's no other benefits, which apparently there's a bunch. I Although guess. you don't believe in any of that stuff. No, I don't believe in the stars and fucking signs either. So I know. But I mean, not the same. It's not the same. But I like, believe in steak. That's it. I know. Wow. Steak and, uh, and whiskey is pretty much all I believe in. The rest of it's all kind of garbage. Spoken like a true it's all kind of straight garbage. man. Oh, man. My st that is, a it, real straight dude. It's real. <laughs> it's resting in my belly. I feel like I just drank. Well, it's going to rest there for a little bit. The bottom and then of the Everglades. About an hour, it won't be resting in there anymore. It'll get out. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And you'll just feel like lighter. That. You'll feel better. I'll, you'll feel I'll like a reset, bun a reset button. Yeah. Button. I hate when people say Button. Button. Look at the mountains. Especially. Look at the mountains. Let me ask you something. I uh, want to hop into uh, the top of the show here, Jabes. Let's do it. Um, What's LSU happening? won the Nat and the Champions Schnitt. Um, fun game. Fun game last night. I can hear uh, you and your buddy. They raged. Above me. Oh, is that, oh, is that room above? Yeah, that's the only thing with our screening, screening room. room. Uh, is it? <laughs> oh. I don't think we but were. But it was good. I mean, it wasn't. I don't think we were that No, loud. you guys weren't raging, obviously. It was you and one of our friends in the neighborhood. Yeah. And uh, you were fine, for sure. But you could definitely, every once, it'd be really quiet. And then every once in a while, I'd be like, oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, go. Hold it. Kill him. Step on his neck. You know what I mean? That kind of <laughs> stuff. Uh, I enjoyed the game. I thought the best team won. And it, my, the only thing is the LSU fans are just the goddamn worst. But, um, like for real Eesh. literally the worst but Eesh. it's I, we talked about this in the drinking boat sports it's one of those things where there's always a team that's good like once every 10 years mm -hmm. and they are like they're goddamn national champions every year and it's just like oh, okay we get it um but it, it was a great game i enjoyed it and fuck if you were, were an lsu fan is there a better place to win a national championship than in New Orleans, and then you walk on over to Bourbon Street afterwards Ugh. and just crush That's the night. That's the thing is like I think that had a little bit to do with it. I mean, I know there's some other things that happen, but my God, to have all of that energy uh, there, it, mm, I do believe that that's a little bit part of it, right? Level of blackout last night, oh, eighty uh, pregnancies, 90, ninety, probably last night, ninety percent. But what a blast! What a fucking blast. That would have been so fun. I know. I know. If it, look, if it was my team, it, there's no no better place to win a national championship than New Orleans. I mean, I, I, Vegas, I guess. Vegas is getting a stadium next year. Like, but even then, the thing with LSU is everyone there yeah. is like in the same. I, just, even, in, even in Vegas, like uh, let's say you do win in Vegas, you can't just walk down the street to Bourbon Street. Like You still have to go to a hotel bar or some. Uh, some. Cab. So, uh, yes. Uh, New Orleans is the best place to win a, a national championship by by far. By far, because um, drinks are cheap. You can all have fun. It's great, um, but it was a it was a great game. Um, reason why I'm talking about it at the top is the number one trending topic in the world right now and all of last night was not LSU's championship. Oh, that's it is Vince Vaughn 
sitting with the president of the United States in, uh, in, this, in a private box last night. Everybody is canceling Vince Vaughn today uh, on Twitter. Fuck you. I hate you. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Why? Because he's sitting with the president of the United States. Look, man, everybody who listens to the show knows which way I lean. I do not make that a secret. However, if I'm at a national championship game or any sporting event at all, and the president of the United States, Democrat uh, or independent, whoever is, it was in there, and they asked me to come and sit with them, I'm going to because it's the president of the United States and I support the country. You are a fucking asshole if, if you don't. In my, in my opinion, I just I don't understand the hatred for it. Um, and you look back at Vince Vaughn's movies. He gave us Wedding Crashers. He gave us Old School. Sure. You win. I, 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 you're I, fine. I'm, you're fine. Oh, you're fine. He, do, he doesn't care about being canceled, by the way. But what I thought. No, it does not give one what doesn't, shit. It doesn't give one fuck, which is probably why he went over. He goes, fuck him. But what I thought, it, what I thought the headline was going to be was like, you know. Hollywood what, actor reaches out. And, no, but you know? like what a, what a unifier, right? We can yeah, all yeah. we can all be just football fans yeah. for just a night, right? Isn't that great? Like the same thing with Ellen, like talking to Bush. Like we're just people, right? Yeah. And we're sitting watching the same thing, and we're saying hi, and like why? But that's how it is. That's how it is. It's crazy, man. It is absolutely fucking. crazy. If he doesn't respond to it, though, I respond to any of it, he'll be fine. It, like as long as he doesn't put out some statement or respond to it or whatever it will blow over t- today yeah um ah well but i wanted that to be the headline because that's the first thing i said to you right two dudes watching football here, here's isn't that what, cool that it doesn't matter here's what, what i side worry of the about line you are here's what i worry about for vince vaughn yes this story will blow over in the united states will it blow over in hollywood no those motherfuckers do not forget that you know that hollywood is different than the united states it is it is it is. It is. It is. They're their own group of hypocrites. Somebody wrote last night, this is exactly what Ricky Gervais was talking about during the Golden Globes. It is. You're your own fucking hypocrites. And unfortunately for Vince Vaughn, I guarantee you, he will be canceled at certain studios, certain agents, and all that shit. And uh, luckily, he's rich enough that it doesn't fucking matter. And, 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 and he's going he's gonna to enjoy his life the way he wants to live. So it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter for him. Um, but... I that hope it doesn't Weinstein affect him. Weinstein can be out and about. Yep. Just as raising long fire. as you don't shake the hand of the president, you're pretty much good. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, you can do whatever you want. Epstein was fine with all those fucks. So, you know, I, I just I hate to see it because, it again, it's like you said, dudes watching football. Isn't that cool? You know, they weren't talking politics, I'm sure. They were just, you know, talking about the game, talking about what's up. Like, I, I don't know what he said to him, to be honest. Maybe that'll come out. I, um, they were hanging out for a while, so yeah, so I, a couple quarters. It, who knows? Who fucking knows? I don't know. Yeah, uh, but when they pan to him, it, I, it was great. It was great, and, and I, like uh, Ohio State was in the national championship in 2014. Mm-hmm. Obama was in office. If I was famous enough at that time, and Obama asked me to come over to his fucking box to watch the game, yes, of course, you're the president of the United States. I'm gonna sit with the president and watch the fucking game, like. I don't understand. This is going to be really unpopular, but like if I was at a game and the Clintons were in a box. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. It's, there's full view. They're not going to kill me. Do you know what I mean? But like, <laughs> I, don't, wh- I don't know. I don't know. When Bill was in office. Two people yeah, that are. If Bill was in office. Absolutely. He's president. Whatever. For sure. What, whatever. Whatever, man. So. I don't know. It's, uh, it's a fucking mystery, dude. And this, this shit is never going to end. And it's only going to get worse. I keep saying that. You think it's going to get worse? Yes. And I keep saying that. And it keeps happening every day. This is happening. LSU is not trending on any of these fucking things. But Vince Vaughn shaking the president's Number one. hand. I don't see congratulations to LSU on the top. No, they're not in the top 20 at all of, of Twitter today. Nothing. But Vince Vaughn is. Is it people talking shit to you? Is that pretty high on there? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're kidding me. Is that trending? Uh, uh, How much in, shit in you're getting? Bros, it is. Yeah. Um, 
I That's mean, the thing about going hard, though. You got to take you got to take the lumps when it doesn't work. It's funny hosting a sports show, which I, I fucking love, man. It's, it's great. Um, I get to watch all these games. I get to be at all the events that I used to sit home at and watch. Um, we're going to the Conor McGregor fight this weekend. Life does not get any better. Not than we. This. Um, Dan and I, well, you'll be there the next day. It's not like you wanted to sit. Do you want to do you want to go to the fight? We've been over this. OK. We've been over this. I mean, but really, is this like a bucket list type thing for you? Okay. No. All right. What what is sports wise? I'm being I'm being sincere. No, I would. Oh, I you would. would. Okay. Yeah. I do want to see Conor McGregor. I don't know how many chances I will be able to mm-hmm. have. Right? Do you think he's going to keep doing it? Forever? He's got to win Saturday. He's got to win Saturday. So if he does, I really would like to see him the next time. Like I've missed. Yeah many opportunities to see him right and i think it would just be so entertaining and so fun it is yeah yeah um all right i I understand that one uh but again hosting a sports show i get to go to all this stuff uh we get to chat about it i finished so after last night because we always run the numbers dan is obviously a savant analytics guy Mm -hmm. ran the numbers finished 81.2 percent um correct in college football this season no one on earth has finished that high as the best college football season I've ever had. Mm. It was an amazing run. If you look at those numbers, I was wrong on 19% of the games this year, right? No matter what, every time I am wrong, the other team that I've bet against will say, fuck you. That's we told the name you so. of the game, though. It is. You name guys, of the game. Part of it is talking shit. Like, I forget somebody asked me, like, should I talk shit to him? I think it was our neighbor. Yeah. And I was like, look, I go, here's the deal. Like, when the season's on, like, it's shit-talking season as well. And yeah, then, yeah. oh, it's over? You guys are friends again. It's totally fine. And I don't care. Um, because the, that's the other part about it. I don't care. If it was my own team, I care. But I still try to be honest with the audience where I'm like, hey, man, even when their play comes in, I said, look, we did this huge college prediction bowl game show. And I just said, take Clemson. Because I don't want everybody to lose money. Mm-hmm. Um and, uh, you know, some Ohio State fans were pissed at me. And I'm like, dude, there's no bigger Ohio State fan than me. Yeah. But I want people to win money. So, fuck, man, take Clemson. With the LSU thing, yes, all of the LSU fans are raging. Uh, if I would have picked LSU, all the Clemson fans would have been raging. Sure. I don't care. There's nothing I can do about it. Like, once you can't make everyone happy and be like, well... I think it's going to be a tie, and they're all going to walk out and shake hands, and that's going to be it. I just hope the best team wins. Yeah, so... I, I just hope the nicest team wins. I don't care about this shit talking. Some woman went off the fucking rails last night, and it was hilarious. A woman? On who? On you? On, on Yes, on Drinking Bro Sports. I, and I think she got banned last night. Because uh, it's a private group, and it's like, hey, there's only one rule in there, and it's don't be a cunt, right? Um, For guys and girls. Was she LSU fan? Yes. And just went... Fuck you. No, I mean. But look. Wait, wait, no, no, no. No. I mean, it got. You like, guys get excited too. No, no, no. Ninth, it was like nine posts, right? Uh-huh. And then it was like, fuck. The last one was like, it, you could tell like the drunker and drunker she got. And usually, because this happened a couple years ago too, and it was with a girl. Again, another oh, yeah. girl. Oh, yeah. And here's what usually happens is it's uh, her and her husband or a boyfriend. They're they're both fans of whatever team it is oh, okay, that I'm okay, against okay, okay, okay. or I picked against, and he gets on there for her and was like, "Yeah, it's what you need to fucking say." And the last comment was, and this is hilarious: "You don't know fucking shit about college football. You need to go back to the fucking new guy." And uh, and I'm just like. <laughs> I need to go back to the new guy. Lord, we wish we could. Um, what? Yeah. Oh, precious. Yeah, and I was just like, you. Yeah, and I was just like, hey, man. Uh, and hey, my- man. Why don't we sit a couple plays out? Yeah. Uh, why don't we put down that? Put down the drink and just kind of. My simple put response. Down the phone. My simple response was this: Look, if there is anyone, any show on this planet that has gone eighty-one point two percent in college picks this year. Listen to them because I, I clearly I I can't do any better than that. I cannot do any better than that. I picked the national champion last Go year. Go back to the new guy. Uh, this year in the Super Bowl, the the team I picked to win the Super Bowl is still in it. They're in the they're in the last four teams. I cannot do any better than this. Um, go listen to that show. It will not hurt my feelings. So were they saying like the city of the new guy or like go? No, back? no, no. Go back. I guess back to the movie. Oh, like go back in time. Burn. Sick burn, dude. <laughs> 
Go back in time? I don't know. I really don't. I'm just that, so that confused. That was the whole I'm thing. Yeah. yeah, but, yeah, but yeah, that's yeah. the level of drunk. Oh, that it, okay, okay. This woman so no and this person got to, and sure. I was just like, look, sure. if I could go back to the new guy, look. I would do it Nobody in wants a to go back. I would leave my wife and yeah. children to mo- No, I'm kidding. If you, yeah, <laughs> if you were given a choice, like, can I go back to new guy days? Or stay here with my wife and kids. You don't have to answer because I don't want you to get the sh- the hate. But I know what the answer would be. And like, do I blame you? <laughs> right now, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, but I'm I, I'm I'm used to it. And uh, Brooke, our neighbor, um, Bayou Brooke, we call her. She um, she's a healthy amount of shit talking. I think she's fine. Uh, like she's the she's the least of them. Um, and I will say and, and she walks the motherfucking walk. I mean, if that girl is not wearing an LSU thing, yeah, something's wrong. Went to the game, got tickets to the game, like all that shit. Like you should. Um, she's the. I'll put it to you this way: she's the least of what I was getting sure. last night. So I'm fine with Brooke. I, I don't care about that. Yeah. But the rest of these fucks, Jesus Christ. Uh, and then n- next year when they lose like three games, we, you won't hear from them again. Right. And that's just the way it goes in uh, in sports. But uh, no, I don't. Truthfully, I don't take any of it personally because, again, it, you you have to pick a team. So, I, the fuck are you gonna do? Uh, I don't care, and most of it's pretty hilarious to me. Um, there's only one dude I was annoyed with this year. Where I was just like, hey man, no matter what I posted, like if I was posting something about the Bills, and I was like, oh man, uh, Bills yeah. Mafia crashed yeah, through yeah. tables, mm-hmm. I'd get a comment underneath it before they won the the title last night. Hey man, you know who's got the strongest tables? LSU. Like mm-hmm. no matter what it was, you would relate it to something else. You know, I was like. You don't have to comment on every single post about LSU. It has nothing to do with, with LSU. You don't win a prize. No, nothing. Um, but uh, uh, I, I, there was a, a prize. We always give away prizes in Drinking Bros Sports uh, in the private group. And there was a prize last night. And this, is, this was a, a shocking one to me. Um, so I said whoever picks the exact score and the winner of the game. Because um, we do cool giveaways like this too. Like um, you, win a, you can have your choice. Of a signed Trevor Lawrence picture okay. or a signed Joe Burrow picture. Okay. Um, which is amazing, right? The two quarterbacks. That's a fucking awesome giveaway. Sure. 463 people guessed. No one got it right. Uh-uh. Yeah. So whenever you're out there and you're like, ah, I'm an expert at this and I think I can do this. 463 people Dang. could not guess the exact score of the game. Crazy, right? Well, I mean, that's hard, but it's yeah. a lot of fucking people. Yeah. Kind of. It's There's not that hard. There's a lot of numbers in the world. There is, but. There's a lot of combinations of numbers. <laughs> right? It's a lot of combinations of numbers There's like a lot of different world. things that you can do. Yeah. Now, you had your own national championship last night. What was that? The Bachelor. Mm-mm. Huh? I didn't. Why not? You didn't watch it? No. Ah, you said you were going to watch it. I know. What happened? Did you fall asleep? The kid was in there, and uh-huh. I was on social media, you guys, more than I've ever been on in my life. Yeah. Uh, Tiffany was very happy with me. Um, so I, I know how you feel now. It sucks, But right? I'm going to watch it when I get home. It sucks. Or tonight. Do you want to watch it with me? Yes. That's why I'm asking. We'll if you talk watch, about watch it, it tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, watch so it stay tuned. I'm sure you guys, I mean, you guys already watched it, but. So now that you have a new show that's Pilot out. Pilot Pete. Yeah. That's out. Um, there's a lot of excitement around opening day. Uh, the social media is just. Look, and again, we're in this it, honeymoon sort of phase where everything is positive and everyone's like rooting for us. We haven't quite gotten to the point where people are talking shit, which we will get. But um, it's this like I know to really relish this moment uh-huh. because it's like it's not ever going to be like this again. Right. Yeah, yeah, Where yeah, just yeah. everyone yeah. is like you're an underdog and everyone's rooting for you and everyone's so nice and so supportive and listening and great show. And it feels really good. It will not last. <laughs> uh, and that's fine. And if it doesn't, it means that we've gotten big enough that people feel comfortable talking shit to us, which is fine with me. Right. Um, sure. So this that's the moment that I'm in right now. So I just was like taking it in and answering everybody and reading all the comments. And it was really, really positive. So that's why I wanted to do that. Yeah. Once it starts getting negative or anything like that, I'll probably watch The Bachelor. So here's what <laughs> happened to me. Um, I stopped reading comments. 
a uh, long time ago. Um, Any comments? I, on my own personal Instagram, I'll read them. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. Like, YouTube is too much. YouTube, I don't. I will say that, guys. Like, I don't. YouTube is too faceless. Anything that's faceless, Twitter, things like this. Yeah. But um, Instagram and Facebook, I will. Yeah. Um, so I, I it, it got to be too much. What the the drag on the day is this is like because you're constantly promoting your shows, right? Yeah. And that's just part of the the business that just you have. The business, yeah. It takes an hour mm-hmm. when you wake up to post on all these different sites to get everybody excited about the show that day and everything else. And uh, I'm not oh, full disclosure. I'm not the best at it. I'm just not the best at social media. Mm-hmm. Matt and Jared and those guys are great. Um, I'm not. Jared is yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right. Jared is, is really good at it, actually. Um, Dan's good at it. Like people Dan's good. that have time to do it and that are you have good to be with single, it. yeah, without kids. And I, that my thing is this: I don't want to be on the phone in front of my children that much. That was the only thing that bummed me out about it. But at the same time, like right now, I I can do it right now. Like I said, because everyone's being so nice. Yeah. But I think at a certain point, I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to hang out with my kids, but I will answer like, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. All of them. Um, but yeah, just to go through that every day is, uh, you're just like, oh gosh. Um, yeah. Not complaining right now, but for not sure. At all. Yeah. Not at all. Cause there's, there's areas that, you know, for this show, like Ross Patterson revolution need to improve. I never asked people for iTunes reviews and I should like, we, that's if what we're doing today. Yeah. If you can please rate the show Ross Patterson revolution on iTunes and, uh, review it. Um, cause somebody hit me up the other day. It was an advertiser was like, man, your numbers are great on this show. Like, I don't understand why you don't have more stars or likes or, you know, whatever it is on, on iTunes. And I was like, man, you know, we never have solicited that on yeah, any of these Yeah, you kind of have to ask for it because I know me for myself. I don't really review anything unless it's either amazing mm-hmm. or shitty, right? So if it's, like, good and I like it. Right. Do you know what I mean? So, like, it, you have to ask people. They're not going to first think of it. If they like your show and they listen, they'll listen. Right. Yeah. They're I, compelled to write a review if it's like, <laughs> you yeah. know. Well, look, go to Ross Patterson Revolution on iTunes and review it and rate Hopefully it. Hopefully, you're compelled to write a review. It does help with with uh, advertisers really and all that shit. Um, to and, keep it free. Yeah. Exactly. Because I'll put it to you this way: we've gotten seven calls in the last, I don't know, man, two weeks at this point to go behind a paywall for all of this shit. And it's like, no. I, oh, yeah, I you had that call the other I don't, day. I, um, I was supposed to have another one today, and I'm like, no. I'll listen. I will always listen because, look, I'm grateful enough that the media company itself is big enough that hmm. people even want to fucking entertain. Hey, somebody be, should be paying you for your show. Yeah. Um, our advertisers pay for, for the show. So, like, I don't – to go behind a paywall on top of it, no, I don't want to do it. Um, yeah. Me personally, and like I always look at Rogan. I, I think Rogan is pretty much the industry standard for all of us right now, and he's still free. Uh, you know, I your we, mom's we, house doesn't have any Patreon or nope, paywall. No, and uh, the other one was um, uh, Michael Rappaport, who's been on this show before. He's been on Drinking Bros before. He switched and went behind a paywall this year, and I feel like his show is invisible. I, I haven't heard anything yeah, haven't about heard. it all year. Um, cause you're asking people to pay 1199, um, for a podcast app and a month. Look, man, I pay 1199 for Netflix. I get to watch endless shit on Netflix. Yeah. So he's on luminary. Luminary. Yes. Um, it looks like that's kind of like the celebrity. I would love for it to break off, but, um, it looks like it's kind of like the break s- off. I would love for there to be a different, and I've always wanted like a different category for really famous people uh, same to here. do podcasts. And yeah. it looks like Luminary, everyone that's over there um, is super famous. Lena and just Dunham. like Lena Dunham, there's a couple other people that are just celebrities that have started podcasts. And so they started at Luminary because they were like, we don't fucking know, right? Um, I would love for that to be the thing. Yeah. Like, Put Conan over there, <laughs> put um, Dak Shepard over there, people that are like, what? And like, it's hard to start a podcast? Yeah, it's fucking hard. And to build an audience? Yeah, it's fucking hard. Yeah, it is. Especially when you're not that famous. Justin Long. Like, I want everyone to kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you can pay for them Dak the way Shepherd. that you pay for them <laughs> for everything else, right? Yeah. So, yeah. 
So the rich just keep get can keep getting keep richer. Keep getting richer. I will say this: it, it warms my heart to see because what happens is the celebrities start up at the top of the charts, and then they slowly start to go down because people mm. get sick of that. Is that it, they're not really talking about anything new or different or or whatever, right? And we drinking bros past Chelsea Handler uh, a couple weeks ago, and she started off her show was one. So number two and four right. and then five. I will say she at least was an interviewer, right? But people like Justin Long, I mean, I'm really sorry. Or Have you Dax, to this show? or Dax Shepard in the beginning. You aren't they aren't interviewers, right? So but that's the kind of show that they're doing. And they just aren't quite good at it. I'm sure Dax has obviously at this point gotten better, right? But that's sort of the One problem think, yeah. is that they do interview shows, but they aren't innately an interviewer right they're usually getting interviewed yes so it's very it's a very um i'm just gonna say justin only because it's the one that i listened to that was just like on the top of the charts like immediately Mm -hmm. and it was insane where i was like what is this he has one episode and it was just really kind of clunky and not really great or interesting because again he's used to being in movies being interviewed right um, he's not really different skill set, different skill set. Right. Yeah. So you can't you can't expect to just start an interview show and be fucking Larry King. Right. Like you have to work on those. Yeah. Those types of skills. I mean, Mark Marin didn't start out that way either. And you have to kind of Joe Rogan, you, you hone the skills mm-hmm. to be able to get things out of people that you need to get out of them. And it's it that that is the thing that I hate. They don't understand. Right. If you just want to do a celebrity show and you just want to talk shit and be the only one, it's like, cool, you should start a YouTube channel. But anyway, yeah, then that's fine. But if you want to start right off the bat with like interviewing famous people. I just think that's a little bit um, tone deaf to think that you can just do that. (laughs) Right. Well, you know, it's not going to stop people. Money no, keeps rolling in. It's definitely not. Keep washing that that hog with cash. Money talks. Oh, there it is. But wealth whispers. Ah, you like that? Look one? at that. James. Heard that one today. Did you I really? like it. Who said that to you? I don't know. I heard it on a podcast. <laughs> I probably heard it on Dax Shepard's podcast. No, I didn't. Um, something like This American Life or whatever. But uh, I liked it. Wealth whispers. It's so fucking lame. Um, it's awesome and it's true. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, wealth screams at you. Wealth rapes you. No, if you're really, if you're rich, rich, the certain type of rich, pretty annoying. Yeah. But if you're just like, like Richard Branson. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he like going around telling everybody how much money he has? Is he like being mean to people, or is he just like buying everything he fucking wants to buy? Yeah. No. And being fucking cool. As no, fact, you're right. right. You're right. Um, he's a rad dude. You know he has a bunch of money, but he'll never tell you like how much, right? Or he'll never. I'm a big Branson fan. I know you are. Mustache. I love his whole shit. Um, <coughs> of course I do. Again, look at that picture of him uh, kite surfing with a topless supermodel on his back. It is again, is that a whisper? Thing ever. I'm not sure. But to me, did it you know doesn't there was a photographer scream- there? Exactly. He's whispering. Probably not. Sorry if you're eavesdropping on him. Yeah. He's not screaming it from the mountaintops. Sorry if you've uh, interrupted his kite surfing sesh. Uh, let's get to the sponsors, shall we, Jabes? Okay. Yeah. First and foremost, talking about ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Thank you, Ghostbed, for making my show possible as well. Yeah. Did they? Yes. Yeah, they did. Goddamn right they did. Love ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Mattresses, chief mattresses, mattresses. I know. Uh, look, they're, they're all over the office. What do you mean? They're all over the place. They're everywhere. You made it possible because I was able to, to sleep. Be. How about that? Yes. You made her sleep so she could fly. Hmm? Nope. Okay. You let her sleep so she could run. Ghost bed walked so that I could run. <laughs> uh, ghostbed.com forward slash shrinker bros. That 25% sale is over. It's over now. I know. Now they got half off adjustable bases. Hush. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, go there. Go there, learn it, live it, love it. Um, Dial it up. Dude. If you're a member of the military and armed forces or a first responder 
We always get 15% off. You get 15% off. I would do the 15% forever. off a base, Fuck personally. Yeah. Yes. If you get half off an adjustable base, then you can take an extra 15% off that. Blammo. You're fucking. I don't know. Do they do life. the extra 15%? think so i don't try it try it out do i'm two not two separate orders how I'm about not, that i'm not a mil- so I'm do not one in the military that's the base for 50 percent, and then go back in grab you some cooling pillows yeah some sheets get 15 percent off that who's winning america everyone america mm-hmm. so we're proud of america we're proud to be americans and uh i'm proud that ghost bed is made in america as well go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today as always I get a sweet, sweet pay-as-you-go program, 36 months, no interest. No one on the internet's doing that, Jabes. Next up, we get StrikeForceEnergy.com. Boom, boom, boom. boom. This is what happens, Jabes. You do another show, you get lazy. I'm sorry. Skills get lazy, Jabes. I'm going to have to give you a wrap on the beak now. Um, Strikeforce Energy. I'm, look, I'm sure it was keeping half those LSU fans up last night. The level of drunkenness in that crowd during that game was, was just like, there was, there was guys <laughs> who were just like. Just that picture that you showed me. Hur. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, you should have taken some strike force. Look, kids, if you're watching the video show, it's a tasty, tiny little tin pouch. You rip it open and squeeze it into any liquid available. No carbs, no sugars, lasts longer than five-hour energy. Um, this is the best in the biz, man. Uh, if you're on a diet after the New Year's, it's the only thing that will keep you going, and it actually adds some form of flavor to the bullshit water you're drinking. Uh, grape, original, lemon, orange. 10-pack, 40-pack, 750-milliliter bottle. It's this guy right here. Huh! Um, go there. Learn it, live it, love it. Go there, learn it, and live it, and love it. Strikeforceenergy.com, promo code REVOLUTION. 20% off. Um, they ship everywhere in the entire world, and they have a subscription of the month, which we've had for four years now. Four years we've had that shit. Oh Last gosh. but not least... Straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Yeah, yeah. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, you right. There it is, James. There it is. If you're watching the video show and you're, at, and you're asking yourself why this mustache is so beautiful, straightrazors.com. Mustache wax. Uh, the smolders, the aftershave of, of my life. Best I've ever had in my entire life. I've used it for years now, and uh, I will continue to do so forever. If they ever go out of business, I'll be sad. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do, to be honest with you. I'm a shit. I uh, love the scent of it, scant of the smolder. Uh, they get cologne, too, in that smolder. That's my favorite. It's my end-all, be-all. Straight razors are second to none. If you're worried about using a straight razor, you use a safety razor. You can also get those straight razors engraved. Yeah. Ooh. Go to straightrazors.com. Promo code REVOLUTION. 20% off 20 twin. Uh, do it. Do it now. Go there. Um, tonight's, James. It's the night. Final nights. Last debates. Oh, is it? Democratic. Yep. Democratic are uh, debates. Still, are they still uh, running? Weird, right? Do they have people? Yeah. Who are the people? Um... <laughs> Who are the people that are Booker's left? out. So, yeah, I, we're down to... We're oh, down man. to Warren. Uh, we're down to Warren, Biden, um, Bernie, Bernie, Buttigieg. Buttigieg. Those are the four faves at this point. The four Bs. Yeah. Mm, three Bs <laughs> and a W. Yeah. I love uh, it. Three B dub. Three B dub. Yeah. BW3. I, I'm going to be honest. It's, so this is in Des Moines, um, Iowa. The Iowa caucus is coming up in uh, three weeks. Mm. Whew. Whew. You have an answer there. Um, I had forgotten all about them. Oh, I have. Yeah. I forgot about the debate. I forget about them, the people, all of it. Uh, I haven't forgotten about Bernie. He's everywhere. I've forgotten about Biden. Biden. Warren and, and Buttigieg. Buttigieg. Yeah. I mean, Warren's always everywhere, too. I, I, Bernie's the front runner right now, and that seems to be who they're focusing on. Mm-hmm. Oof. Um, I look. I I didn't know there was a bit debate tonight. Um, there is so much going on in the world uh, with the Iraq Iran shit. The stupid impeachment thing is still going on. I think mm. um, that I I just it has buried these candidates, and I I forgot. Typically, we watch this shit all the time, and I'll watch it tonight. 
but I wonder who else is. I, don't, I, I haven't heard anyone talking about this. Yeah. If this didn't just flash in front of me right now, I, do, I don't know that I would have known. Yeah, I, I haven't seen it in a year. So I would imagine it's going to be Bulls on Parade against Bernie tonight since he's the front runner. And uh, look, this Iowa caucus is a big one. Um, I think typically the last four people who have won it have won the, the primary for, for that side. So we'll see. Um, but uh, yeah, I, Pelosi's still moving forward with the impeachment thing. I, I like how she did that. So that's just breaking news. Um, she's moving finally. Mm-hmm. Moving that, that she's moving on it today. Why do that on the day that your candidates are going for their last debate? That should be the main focus of today. Because they're freaking toned. Uh, they're just. It is not. Um, they're saying Bernie is or Biden is now shifted to the top in Iowa. Oh, I don't believe. I don't believe that. I don't believe do it you at believe all. That? Um, I thought they hated it. So did I. So That's I, I want 60 minutes would have me believe <laughs> exactly here's what I'm amped about is to see real numbers. Um, I don't trust the media. I don't believe any of these polls and I want to see real numbers from people voting in Iowa and then go from there and see what that's like. Mm-hmm. Um, because what happens is these caucuses, you, you know, this, they start going mm-hmm. really quickly and you're like, Oh shit. And they just keep gaining votes and votes and votes and votes. And you're like, Oh boy. And you can usually see it like mm-hmm. the, you know, the, the third or fourth one, when they get start to get the super states where it's like eight states are voting on the same thing, you can start to get a good feel for it. I remember when Trump was doing it, and you're like, oh, shit, looks like he might win this thing. And it just yeah. kept winning, winning, winning. And it was like, wow. Um, whereas that year, I remember Clinton and Bernie going head to head. And they were kind of neck and neck the entire time. We were like, one would win one, the other one would win one. And uh, it was pretty close towards the end. Mm-hmm. Um, so... I'm excited to see what this is going to be and, uh, and then what the turnout is. I'm excited to see what the turnout is on the Democratic side. because if, For the debate? No, for oh. the, the caucuses oh, yeah, to go yeah. and vote. And the reason why is because it's been invisible, these candidates have been invisible this whole time, does the rest of America care at this point? And will they look at these numbers if they're really low and be like, oh, fuck. What do we do now? Yeah. Um, so I'm excited to see real hard numbers and kind of get this thing moving here because, man, I can't remember another president in my lifetime where it seems like they've been talking about it for four years about voting him out or trying to get him out of there. Well, it's here. The time is here now. You're, one of these people is going to be your candidate. Here you go. So here you go. Let's find out who it is and, uh, and then get to game time because once that election's over in November... I want to hear another fucking word about it for four years. Really don't. <laughs> um, I just, yeah. I do not. Um, there was a shark bite here in North Carolina in January. Ooh. Oh, yeah, because it's fucking hot as fuck, maybe. Crazy, right? It's, uh, what is it, 76 today? Yeah. No, 67. Is it? 70. 70, right? Yeah. It's, hot it's as ridiculous. Shit Super humid. Yeah, you know where this happened? Rodanthe. Knights in Rodanthe. Knights in Rodanthe? Yeah. What's the... Uh, the North Carolina. That's the city of North Carolina. Oh, okay. Uh, unseasonably warm weather. The guy got bitten when, while he was surfing. Well... Outer Banks. Buddy. So, luckily, the, the bite wasn't life-threatening or anything, so... Uh, whew. He needed stitches uh, and, a, and a couple staples to repair the injury. They've been surfing out there for years, and they never even spotted a shark in the winter months. But uh, look, we live here, obviously. Uh, a lot of people surf out in front of our uh, other place. The shark bite, though. The sharks. Well, here's the thing. I, it's remember never been that, this warm. Remember this summer? It was crazy. I feel like someone was getting bit literally every day over here. Mm-hmm. So I just. You don't go in. I just stay away <laughs> from the beach, you know? You go to the beach. I'll go to the sand, yeah. Yeah, but you won't go to the water. Mm-mm. You won't dip a toe in. Nope. No, not at all. Mm-mm. <laughs> you know my fear of, like, getting cut underwater, even doing, yeah. even doing dishes. Like, even thinking about that, like a cut happening underwater. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. Especially now. 
never in Florida. Oh, Sometimes boy. in California. Yeah. But only like Carpinteria. Where? Carpinteria. Where's that? It is by Santa Barbara. Is it Spanish for carpet? Okay. Uh, moving on. Mm. Moving on, James. Yep. Your girl, Billie Eilish. Oh, I thought you were going to say Dina Lohan. Oh, is that your girl? <laughs> big, Today big she is. Dina Lohan fan? No, I we, like Outback Steakhouse. That's all. Go we'll, ahead. We'll get to that in a sec. I don't even know what that is, but uh, Billie Eilish. What? She got the Bond song. She's doing the James oh, Bond she? song. Yeah. Good for her. That's a big. That's a big boy move. It is. She's she's really saturating, the saturating everything. Do you think too that's much? A, is she Tiffany Haddishing? That's a big uh, payday. That's a big oh, payday. Oh, do it, girl. Listen. Um, I. <laughs> Here's is the it thing. too much? If your song is good, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm sure it will be, by the way. Yeah, it's hit She's and miss. She's pretty fucking talented, so. It's hit and miss. I, I always go back to Adele's. Yeah, but Adele doesn't saturate. No, she only pops up every once. She pops up, slams, you know, <laughs> slams down album, her yeah. fucking album, and then goes back. Yeah. Um, she only pops up every once every five years. and uh, Yeah. But. For Billie Eilish, you can't hey, you can't be mad at her getting this money. You just gotta no, make sure please. it's um, please. It's a good goddamn song. Yeah. So, wow, that's that's kind of shocking, actually. Usually, like it goes to like a powerhouse singer. Uh, she can sing. She can, but not. I mean, she's using eighty different types of auto tune and shit. No, but then she'll also do. I mean, y- you may want. I mean, I invite you to go through like some of her videos and stuff because she'll do just like an acoustic or just a piano in her and like belt out some. Really? And she does kind of, I think Billie Eilish comes from like, she likes Billie Holiday. So she does that kind of old like jazz. What is it? You know, you know who Billie, yeah, Billie yeah, Holiday yeah. is, right? Yeah. So she does that kind of music as well. She's a very interesting mix of a bunch of different things but if you go down a Billie eilish rabbit hole you'll probably end up being like holy shit this girl is actually super talented okay i'll look I'll, but I'll she get doesn't into do it. that a lot how's her does she have a good instagram do you follow her, on instagram? her instagram's okay i mean i feel like i'm way too old to be i mean she's 17 so it's a 17 year old's instagram okay but um her videos and stuff or stuff on youtube or things that she's done I kind of go more into that, but I do follow her. Gotcha. I Who, just kind of don't feel like I get it sometimes. Oh, really? What's the Dina Lohan sitch? So she um, got wasted at an Outback Steakhouse. Yes. Crashed into somebody and left. Uh, but, crash your car. Yeah, hit someone okay. and hit and run outside okay. an Outback. Um, and then a concerned citizen, <laughs> just someone that. Yeah hates Dina Lohan, which we all do. Obviously. Um, followed her to her house and called the cops. And so she got arrested <laughs> at her house. DWI. She fell on her face. Oh, she got a fucking DUI? Mm-hmm. Man, she was at her house, though. Mm. I wouldn't answer the door. I would have pulled a No, I don't know how it hit. worked, but I think she was... Fo- whoever this was followed her and called the cops, like, on the way or something happened, whatever, that she was caught because of someone that was following her. Right. I don't know if it was at her house or eventually she was or whatever. Man, uh, I I am fucking amped about that. Because every time I want, like, I do hate Lindsay Lohan. I do. Although I do want to have her live Skyped in from Mykonos on our show. Sure. I'm not, that's a dream guest. Yeah. Um, But every time I want to be like fucking Lindsay Lohan, I just go, my God, she comes by it all so honestly. Between the dad and the mom, I mean, my God, she didn't have a chance in fucking hell. No. Right? No. Um, whatever she's doing right now in the club and fucking that seven-year-old owner or whatever, it's like, that's the best <laughs> you can do right now because, my God, these are your parents. <laughs> By the way, Outback, let's try better. Let's try Well, harder. Look, and I love Outback. I love a blooming onion. But I'm not Dina Lohan, right? Yeah. Like, she probably had one of those uh, wallaby darned. You know, a couple she of had those, too many uh, wallaby darts. Yeah. Oh, and not enough bloom and onion, right? Yeah, you gotta you gotta put a little bloom you in on there. You gotta put a couple pieces of bloom in to wait that out. Um, 
Boy, the Outback Steakhouse. I think that was the best part of the story for me because I go, of course they had to put that in, those assholes, right? <laughs> it's like they couldn't have just said hit and run, got arrested, <laughs> leaving a restaurant. They have to make the headline that she's Outback at an Outback Steakhouse. Steakhouse. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I like it. I'm going to be real as these, though. If I, I got the press is such fucking dick. I know. If I get arrested, though, for something like that. Oh, please put... I, Outback Steakhouse Please, would be great. Put my order up there. <laughs> put my receipt. <laughs> Please. Somebody, the waiter has full permission to put my receipt on Instagram and everything. How much I tipped. What I, how many wallaby darns I had. Please. If I do, if I ever do something like that, my God. A hit and run outside Outback. Oh, that's Being great. Dina Lohan. Like with this weird younger dude. Oof. Where was she? Outback. No, no, no. no. I don't, what city? Um, oof. Because I don't know if there's an Outback in L.A. No, I don't think she was in L.A. And I don't think they are in L.A. Oh, not anymore? Because uh, Lindsay moved, right? She's, uh, she's living overseas. Mykonos. Yeah, that's right. That's right. She owns a club. I think that her show got, got canned, by the way. Really? Yeah, I think so. Oh, well, she was never on it. I think they didn't renew it. Yeah, well, she, again, everyone tuned in because they were like, oh, we're going to see Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan be ridiculous, right? Yeah. She was never on. It was all the staff, and she would like have meetings with them every other show for like two seconds, yeah. like pull her into her office. But that was it. That's probably all they could wake her up for. That's all that they could, like, yeah, lock her down for. Can you do a two minute office scene today? No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. No. Nah. Okay, cool, Lindsay. We'll see you tomorrow, maybe. Bye. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, Holy shit. Long Island. Oh, uh, it wasn't Long Island. Well, that's where they're from. All right. Yeah, they're, so New, they're Jamie just not said Long even Island. New. I was going to say New, New York. York. They're not even New York people, but yeah. I think they all, I think the, the parents are originally from there. New York? I think or so. Or Long Island? I think the dad is, yeah. He seems Big very difference. Long Island. Very Long Island. Yeah, the dad yeah, does. Yeah. 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 Big difference, not Manhattan. Yeah, the two yeah. of them are fucked. Does she have a sister? Yeah, she does. What's uh, she stayed out of the limelight? What's she doing? She did. She was trying. She was for a second, but she's way too normal. I think I'm not sure what she's up to, but it's she was just so. If if there's anyone that cared about her, they got her away from it or kept her out of the limelight. I don't know. I hope there was one person. That cared an aunt, a grandma, a someone. At a certain point, though, you've got to do it yourself. So uh. she was younger, though. Like during the reality show that they were doing, she was like thirteen. So I think that, like I said, I hope someone intervened because we didn't see her after that. You know, yeah. I would hope. I don't know, man. Uh, by the way, Tosh Point oh just got re- renewed for four. More seasons. Um, Easy format. You don't have to put a lot of money into crazy. it. <laughs> crazy. Crazy. Like, it's like shooting comedy specials, right? I, uh, and, and it's good, so I'm Printing not going to, I'm not going to knock it's it. It's not bad, yeah. He's making, he signed a massive overall deal with the network, and he's exec producing, and he's getting millions of dollars off that show, so I don't blame him in the slightest for, for keep on, keeping that fucking yeah. gravy train going mm-hmm. at all. Um, but I do remember, fuck man, I was in a pitch meeting in like 2010 and I was there to pitch a scripted show and they were like, Hey, Hey, that's great. I think you're really funny. Can you scrap all that and just do a green screen clip clip show? That's what they called it. A green screen clip yeah. show. And I was like talking head or something. And, and like, here's what yeah. I said. I go, look, I, I feel like everybody's doing that right mm-hmm. now. And, um, and they were like, yeah, and it doesn't matter. Um, so we're just going to do one and i think that every network should have one like look at how many ridiculousnesses remember when our kid actually still going. Rec- recorded it it is still going i remember interviewing uh brendan schaub from fighter and the kid last year on drinking bros he was on that and he he had to get on a flight at like four o'clock so he's like hey you do this interview um you know somewhere in like the one-ish area we're like no problem we'll get you in and out of there i was like where are you flying soon he's like flying to, to shoot ridiculousness i was like i'm doing i guess they tape two shows back to back and then you you get out of there and i go man is that still on and he goes oh yeah he's like i've, I've done it before and mm-hmm. i was like shit and i was like what with that format it's you're just printing money and it's cheap it's easy all you're doing is paying the host and then you know you, have, you do have to pay for these clips but it's normal people on the internet so it's like 
two, three hundred bucks a pop and that's it. Um, but yeah, crazy, man. Um, they were right. Uh, I, I'd said, look, cause the soup was on talk soup. Remember that? Oh God. Is that still on? So it wasn't. And then they're, the, I no lie. The next article is they're bringing it back. Mm. Um, so there, it's going to be a woman who's doing it now. And, uh, that's coming back. Tosh Pino is coming back and then ridiculousness is still on the air. And, and I mean, look, basically what you you did is you just rip the, and I heard Daniel Tosh and, um, uh, hates fucking what's his nuts over at ridiculousness. Oh, really? Yeah. They probably are competing for clips and shit. Who cares? Do you think? Who no, fucking no. cares? I, I mean, and to say that you were there first is complete garbage. If that's one of your fucking arguments. Because Who let's face it, do you first? know what the format is? Yeah. It's America's Funniest Home Videos mm-hmm. back from the fucking 80s and 90s. Yeah. It's the same format. You're just except putting you're, a different spin on yeah, it. Yeah. It's just instead of sending in VCR tapes, you're just ripping clips off the internet. So who cares? Who fucking cares? Yeah. Everybody's getting paid. Yeah. Who gives a shit? Um, but yeah, that was uh, a four year deal with all that money for him. Man, that's crazy. I remember first move, when I first moved to LA, um, and I was still doing stand up uh, at the out front of the comedy store. He was like the headlining name out there. It said mm-hmm. Daniel Tosh. Mm-hmm. And he was the guy, right? Um, he was doing all this shit, and, and, but he didn't, he wasn't getting acting roles. And now he's probably richer than everyone off of a fucking clip show. <laughs> Amazing, right? He's good. I mean, he is. He's I, good. I enjoy him. I enjoy that show. But um, if it's on at, a, at the dentist or wherever yeah. it is, like, I don't go out of my way to watch it, but if it's on, I'm like, eh. Great. Um, so, yeah, man. Uh, good on him. Good for him. Good for uh, him. Go, uh, go, good for him. Uh, good, for, good for him. Uh, good, 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 good for him. We're happy for him. Yeah. Really. We're really uh, stoked about that. The Meghan Markle thing has not died down, by the way. It just keeps going. Um, Twitter removed the clip of the Disney, the Disney ordeal. Yes, I heard. Well, you told me that. And yeah. then everyone today on all the like daily news stuff mm-hmm. that comes out like in the morning is talking about that. Yeah. And it's like a huge deal because they're just like, oh, fuck you guys. So I, it's I just revealed them for a in a different way. Yes. Yeah. And I finally got to watch the entire clip. Yeah, um, did you? Y- yeah. What do you think? It's awkward. I mean, it is awkward. really, really Wasn't exactly what cringy. I was saying. Like, Yeah, I mean, it, it's... It's a normal... It's a prince. It's a prince. Pitching his wife. His wife, the princess. Yes, to the head of Disney. That's right next to him talking to Beyonce. Yeah, Bob Iger. I mean, it's Bob Iger. It's the president of Disney. Um, the it's man. It's just weird. He's the best executive probably in the, in the history of man. And his response is very... Oh... Oh. Okay, almost like, yeah, like your pit, like I was pitching him. It's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Great, I didn't know that. I'll keep her in mind. You know what and I mean? And that's what like, he said. I didn't know that. Goes, oh, I didn't know that. So yeah, so maybe, maybe we, we could. Tr- what didn't he say? Yeah. Maybe we could try it or something. You should try it out, or you should give her a chance, or you should. We should try something else. Some something that was like, hmm. so Eesh. fucking cringy. You know, and again, if they weren't leaving, it's like, okay, fine. They're trying but to do other things. But now when you're saying, hey, we're financially hey, independent. Hey, now we're financially independent. I had one conversation with the, right, that's not what it is. But I think they are being like, I talked to Beyonce about doing something with her. I talked to Disney. Like, we are good, grandma. Yeah. Is what he's saying. I mean. We are good, grandma. It, it was really awkward. It's like, man, I. Look, nobody wants to be pitched while they're out anyways, let alone a prince pitching his wife to do voiceovers. Voiceover. Not even like... Roles. Not even actual roles. Well, he's Disney, right? So it's like, do you are you that dumb too that you think Disney only does animated stuff? No. Well, so here's my do thought. Do you know what I mean? Here's of my like, thought process. She's an actress, you know? Yeah, we know. Here, here's my thought process behind it, right? Or his, yeah. Yes, his. Of, I don't think because she's technically a princess right right i don't think a princess can star in movies can they no and that's why the voiceover thing came in where it's just like hey but you can't even do that because you can't get financial gain from other things that are like 
that. That's the whole financial independence thing is they want to, if she does a voiceover, they want to, you know, I want it. Because everything goes, you know, the, the palace, the everything. The I think, I mean, like I said, you know, they get an allowance. Like everything is, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't really know, but it's very strange. It's very strange. You um, want to think it's for good reasons. Like you want to give them the benefit of the doubt. Not me, but other people want to give her and him the benefit of the doubt of like, they just want to get out of the limelight. They just want to like, yeah, take a step back. They're yep. not taking a step back, by the way. They're taking a step forward for themselves. <laughs> and that little bitch is getting exactly what she fucking wanted. She's oh. getting to play a princess in Disney. Yeah. Can you? Her and Beyonce are going to do a song together. Can you have her? Can you just look into her doing voiceovers? I mean, that was crazy to me. And so, what, so what's even crazier what is why did she play? Why, the why did she take it down? Gerbil? <laughs> Hi. No. No one's even really asked me how I'm doing. Because you're a fucking princess, you asshole. <laughs> We're not asking you how you're doing. We see how you're doing all the fucking time. <laughs> Nobody even asked me. Shut up, <laughs> Princess Gerbil. I love your hatred for her. It so big. fuels me. It's it keeps so me large. going. And that is that is the only thing on That's this earth. The only thing that keeps me going <laughs> is your hatred. Is getting me started. You get me started, though. Um, you get me started. Just pitching your wife, dude. Jesus Christ, about voiceovers, a princess. You know. Yeah. It's where we are. This is the 2020 we deserve. But for Twitter, who makes that call? The royal family. Hey, man, could you pull that clip? Oh. Uh, How do you get a fucking clip pulled like that? Mm. I don't know. I mean, I think they are. Because typically, it has to. A little more powerful than we think. But. Probably. But it has to invoke what? Some form of racism, hate, hate active hate, violence to get a clip um, pulled? Like non-consent, maybe? Like recording without your consent? No, you're at a public no. outing. There's no reason why that, that shouldn't be out there. Look, man. Sex tapes leak all the time. And I'm sure they're taken down. No. Oh, no? No, they stay up. Well, That's you the way it they is. stay up because you save them and put them in your videos. No. Oh. No, I do not. They don't stay up on Twitter. N- but they stay, they up stay up in your else. phone. Yeah, they stay everywhere else. So <laughs> the fact that they were able to get a fucking Just you normal clip them. pulls. Yeah. Yeah. James, just because you bookmarked. can find them easily yeah. doesn't mean they haven't taken them down other places. Just because they're bookmarked and saved. <laughs> just because they're in my cookies. <laughs> yeah, forever and ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's strange. Really strange. So, uh, hey, everybody saw the clip. You might as well leave it now. Right. I mean, taking it down is a little more suspect than leaving it up, right? And being like, and yeah, the issue is... <laughs> People are so stupid when it comes to that. I was I was pitching my wife to get an animated movie. I was talking. I was making small talk. Like, leave me the fuck alone. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you could say any number of things or not say any number of things. Like, they're just uh, they are going through it and they are making wrong decisions and they're like because they don't have the protection of the royal family and all like that bullshit. Me. They're like being like me. They're very sensitive right now to everything. What did you ask for? Did you ask for this or no? Yeah. The look of disbelief on Bob Iger's face, too, it was... Oh, it... He was just like, I'm that sorry? That was the cringiest part. It's his I response. I will say this. If he was just like, oh, yeah, I know. I've been... You know, whatever. Yeah. It's his response that makes it cringier. That he was just like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah let's talk about that. Oof. Eesh. And I know that feeling, too, when you pitch someone and they're not into it. And they're not like, oh, my God, really? No. Would she? You know, we didn't think she would like that kind of thing is what you want. Mm. I will say this, though, for every writer or actor out in Hollywood who saw that clip. They go, welcome. Yeah. (laughs) Welcome to the club. Suits. Sorry, you did one thing and now you're a princess, but this is how it's been. It should give you hope because, look, if a prince can't pitch his wife into an uh, animated voiceover at Disney. Right. If Meghan Markle can't get a fucking gerbil. (laughs) <laughs> like the part of the gerbil on fucking the next <laughs> zoo zoomanity movie or whatever, then don't feel so bad. Oh, 
God, so good. So good. The boring gerbil. Um, let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day, Jabes. Shall we? We shall. Um, I don't know if I've thanked them before, but you I'm going have. to now. Well, we've done close to 500 episodes. Yeah, like, you never know. I don't know anymore. I don't keep track. Chris T. Sullivan, Tim Gannon, Bob Basham, and Trudy Cooper. You got a guess? No, man. They invented, they are the founders of Outback Steakhouse. Uh, we have. I'm sure we have. I think we have, right? Because we have many conversations about their knives, their blooming onions. Their... <laughs> we have a lot of Outback Steakhouse jokes. This well, that was my the... pregnancy go-to. Yeah. I craved Outback Steakhouse. Yeah. Um, anyways, it started off in Tampa. Of course so. it did. <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> All good things start, start in out in Tampa. Tampa yeah. yeah. Uh, and they usually end there, too, in death. Yeah. So. All good things and all bad things. So just all things. Start and end in Tampa. Yep. You're right. You're yep. right. You're right. You're yep. right. You're right. Um, so go, go there. And uh, if you're on the, in, the, in the Long Island area, take a selfie outside that, that one. That Dina Lohan got arrested at. Treat yourself. Yeah. <laughs> we do need, I mean, we need to go there now. Who was the younger guy? How, how young was this guy? I can't find uh, this. Not this younger, but like uh, he was in court with her and it looks like a boyfriend, but he looks like a, he just looks like a little fuck boy. He doesn't look like a real man. Boyfriend. You know okay. what I mean? It looks like. How, how old? Look, man. I mean, I I gotta, now I got to look this up. I don't know ages, I, dude. I, I, don't, I don't see ages. I just see like, yeah, I just see the soul. You know, of, yeah, of, of course, <laughs> of course, I keep getting fucking messages for this guy, Harvey, Harvey, Harvey. He, um, it's something about his eyes. His doctor keeps calling me. What? Yeah. Who the fuck is that? I don't know. They're calling for Harvey, but they have my number. Oh, oh, got it. Yeah, got yeah, it, yeah, yeah. So like they, they're giving him like results <laughs> for his eye exam and fucking trying to re, um, get another appointment with him they need to see him again not really sure what to do about that i look i'm looking at this guy this is an older guy mm, it must not be the one let's let's look what do we got here ah this is a fucking while ago man this is a, this is a year ago so of what this this other dude yeah no it's this was yesterday so Dina Lohan DWI. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll peep it. I'll peep Dina it. Dina Lohan DWI. I gotta, is it sick that I have to know and I have to know on air? Yeah, I know because like we're done. Like we're already done. We, we are done, but I've got <laughs> I've got to know what this guy looks like now. Like right the fascination now. <laughs> is overtaking me right now. Like the people need to see you looking for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like I've got to know. That's who not very this nice, but I mean, I guess is. Um, but I can't find him. I can't find. You a picture can't of him. find it. No. <sighs> Which is, which is crazy. My search skills are unparalleled. Go to her. No. I'm not going to bother the people. No, go to Prez. No, he had to pick. It. Oh, why? Her, her, the mom doesn't look that bad either. How old, how old would you say she is? For a white woman, 57. 57. She doesn't look terrible. Even the mugshot doesn't look that bad. I mean, she's fucked up, but... Uh, She's doing all right for her age. Good for Dina, I say. She's at Outback, living her best life. Hit and run, DWI. Yeah. Younger dude. Younger dude. That's I would. I just would not answer the door. Invisible, I guess. Um. I wouldn't. I answer- don't know if that was the situation, though. I don't know if it was answering the door. Oh, okay. Was it? No, I think it was at her house. Or I think it was like outside her house or on the way to her house, whatever. They got some car followed her, either uh, took video of it, whatever. You, you can't just not answer the door. The beauty of it is, is it was around 7 p.m. Yeah, like it was, you know, that was, it was, but look, we've all, we've all done a happy hour that like we didn't eat that much. We like were super stressed from work. We went too hard to kind of catch up with the other people that had already been there. No, it's true. I just, uh, the old 7 p.m. 7 p.m. hit and run. Those wallaby Still dogs. light out. I think, because I'm, I'm trying to crack this code here. Um, I think 
there's a, a sweet, if I remember correctly, there's an awesome happy hour at Outback Steakhouse. Yeah. we like four to six. Been, when we would go to Florida to visit your parents, we've been there. We've yeah. been to the happy hour for sure. Oh, and it's like half price Bloomin'. Yeah. Half price Wallabies. <laughs> half price hit and runs. You get everything there. Oh, man. That's what it is. She was going for, you know, a quick happy hour. And then all of a sudden, boom. You never know how you it's going to hit you. You don't ever know. Um, proud of you, though. And uh, proud of every, every person that's uh, currently serving at Outback Steakhouse right now. Because, we support the servers. Yeah, there's, there's a lot. There is a lot of people out there wielding Outback Steak knives, Steakhouse knives at you. Uh, after a few wallaby darns and you're doing you're doing god's work out there you send them right to their car and that's where they should go (laughs) (laughs) thank you (laughs) and to the brave man (laughs) that chased dina lohan down (laughs) or woman yeah because there was there was by the way reading this article (laughs) there was no damage done to this guy's car (laughs) nothing but they saw her stumbling they thought let's get the bitch jesus christ man I, who fucked has the time up. for that? Yeah, fucked up. You're bored. <laughs> You're bored. Leave her alone. <laughs> Whoever that poor fucking bastard is. Ugh. You did it. You cracked the case. Congratulations, man. You sent a hot. You're going to get promoted. 57-year-old white woman to, to, to jail. Yeah, you really showed her. Good for you, fucker. Uh, Japes, proud of your new show. Thanks. Uh, go to uh, Drinking Bro Etz. Uh, on iTunes, Spotify, fucking Podbean, Player FM, all that other all bullshit. And all uh, subscribe today. Um, big fan of your show. Thank I've you. I've listened to uh, all 10 episodes because there's 10 episodes that are out, by the way. Mm-hmm. So you're not just getting like a bullshit trailer the first episode. And then you're not going to listen again, right? Because we talked about some stuff in 11 that you can't hear. Great. About just me? Just joking. Oh, I was like, Jesus. <laughs> Uh, fuck. No, not the not about you, but you know some other sex stuff. You said you weren't gonna listen, so I just kind of like got you're just it. opening up your entire sex life on there. No, what is it about? Nothing, James. No, it's really not. Okay, uh, for Jesse Wiseman, aka the Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is the Revolution. Fucking rate this on iTunes. Please. Give it a five star and write a review for Ross Patterson Revolution on iTunes. Good night, everyone. Good night.